Chapter 4 Flicker Pike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe Flower Cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Maybe. I can decide downstairs. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Well, it looks like this is the night of the festival. So after the LARPing, Ethan's gone home. So now it's just the nighttime festivities and the rose giving ceremony. Also, she's in a skirt now? Here, I'm I'm definitely going to go over wait, why are the why are their pants there? Don't worry. I'll come back. Yes, because pants are so much more comfortable than mini skirts. I don't like skirts. Will you be my date to the festival, Shoo Shoo? Ah, nah, not not Shoo Shoo. Ah, there's the USB stick. Abe's notebook. So, I really hope that. So she's definitely informed Officer Pike about the. The USB stick and all the information on it. I really hope that they had the foresight to copy that information onto the computer or onto other drives because it would be terrible if it turns out Pike and the police force are bought off by Typhon and he just confiscates this, the USB stick and they have nothing left. Um, it would be terrible if it was an instance in which, yeah, Typhon's able to to get back the evidence anyway. What I'm also concerned about is the way that they acquired the stick. They could have said, oh, maybe maybe Diane dropped it or something. But the fact that they stole it, sometimes, especially in the court of law, you can't really put forth evidence that's acquired in a way that is unlawful. So in this case, it would be theft. They, they stole the information, but it's, Still really incriminating. I've got a lot riding on you. Small, inanimate object. Okay, time to head downstairs. But I'm not heading downstairs yet. I want to take a look around. So what do we have? We have a hot dog? At least there's leggings. If I do wear sweater dresses or some kind of skirt or dress, I always like to have leggings underneath it. But a hot dog? Okay. The tiger is not so bad. Lips. A pocket cat. With Wait, are those cats on the tights? It looks like it. Wait a minute. I'm not I'm not going for this quite yet. Jane Doe? I think that's what this means. Huh. Well, definitely I'd want one of the ones with leggings. So it would either be the cat outfit, the tiger, or the hot dog. I'm thinking the tiger, because I love purple, but it's weird having just a pocket cat. Whereas this still maintains the cat theme, but it's a tiger. And I think those are, are those leopard spots down there? Something like that. So I think I like the wild cat look a little bit more. Oh, she's like me. 
where you just have clothes strewn on the ground. Yep. What's that letter? The world really doesn't deserve Thanor. Aw. Alex, don't worry about me. The drive down south with my dad always makes me feel better. We have a lot of plans for the summer. He said that we could go camping and make ultra s'mores. S'mores, but with ice cream on top. Secret family recipe. The LARP was amazing. You are a really good bard, and I hope we can do it again soon. I already have more ideas to fill out your backstory. Banshees. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex. Ethan. And it looks like it's... Is it Thanor giving a thumbs up? I, I think so, unless he's holding the pommel of the sword, but... Oh, that's cute. We have not, I'm surprised that fish is alive. We haven't addressed its existence at all since we've gotten here. I wish I could have helped Shar, but taking her pain away didn't feel right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because then she wouldn't have been able to deal with her emotions herself. Wait, oh, it's leaking. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink. But I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. <laughs> so then she doesn't want the responsibility of having to fix it later. A pressed rose. Pretty, but not very Gabe. Why does he have this? Hmm. Oh, you know, maybe that's a rose that he got from the festival. Or that he had given to Charlotte. Or maybe he had gotten it from someone. One day I'll organize this stuff in here. Today is not that day. Well, what is in here? Yeah, this one ornament will really bring my tree together. Ah, string lights. The key to unlocking the Cozy Places subreddit. What are the chances your instruction manual is in here? <laughs> Okay. okay, time to head downstairs. Not yet, though. Let's look. Looks like the festival is already in full swing. I'm pretty nervous. Happy spring festival, Gabe. Aw, he was so close to seeing it, too. I remember trying to pregame as a teenager and just going to sleep instead. It's very tempting to curl up with this all night instead of leaving my apartment. Ah, the sword of dust and daylight. So that's the JRPG or the RPG that they were talking about before. I need takeout. I'm thinking this will make an excellent after festival snack. I think I'll stick with Minesweeper from now on. Sons of Lead. Is that the comic? Man, the latest issue gets dark. I'm sure Ethan will be fine. Unmasked, unleashed, unstoppable. This guy just seems like the Punisher. Maybe an ultra-violent vigilante hero? I've been playing more these past few weeks than the last few years. Feels nice. Yeah, feels nice being creative. Looks like the wheel isn't done yet. So is this thing just decoration, or am I supposed to use it? Well, there's Gabe's notebook, but I think we've already looked through it. I'm about ready to start my own list. Yeah. Well, we never got to complete it, but yeah, I think Everyone should have a kind of bucket list for what they want to accomplish in their lives and work towards checking them off. I definitely feel like doing that myself. There's so much to do. I should really head down to the park. Now the whole rose thing, ah, uh, who would, who would I give a rose to in this situation? Cause I know that Steph had made a funny jab at Ryan for having never received a rose. I think it would be cute to give Ryan one just to so that he's finally received one. Oh, 
the bard hat. Alexandra the bard will ride again. Is there anything in our messages and text messages? So we have one from Eleanor. Are you joining us this evening, dear? Yes, this is one party I'm willing to brave. Ah, huh. we'll make it as painless as possible. And then Ethan. Okay, yep. Hey, Alex, it's Ethan. I'm really sorry about that. The LARP was amazing, really. You're a badass. You don't have to apologize. I had so much fun with you. Have a great time with your dad. And stay safe. Enjoy the spring festival. I wish I could be there. But at least I'm getting crazy good work done with my next Thanor comic. Sweet, what's happening this issue? No spoilers, but Thanor finds a gate to the underworld and fights the King of Demons. Oh snap, that actually seems like a pretty big spoiler. That's the first page. <laughs> Aw, so that's cute. So my block. We have a lot of new notifications. Everything is so not fine. Oh, heard some kind of commotion coming from the Silver Dragon when I was walking to the festival. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Oh, was that her yelling and throwing the statue down on the ground from earlier? Guess the festival started a while ago. Yeah, the spring festival has begun. First up will be our annual chili cook-off, and later we'll have live music, a jelly bean guessing contest, and a raffle, as well as food, drink, and a bonfire. Let's kick spring off right. Woohoo! Finally! Chili, beer, and jelly beans, the ingredients for another great festival. Thanks, everyone, for another excellent spring fest, uh, wait, spring fest chili cook-off. My mouth is still burning. Killer chili, Mike, remind me to get the recipe for the lantern. You wish. I am so full. Wander would like to probably enter a chili making contest. He, he makes pretty good chili. We actually add barley to ours, so it has a little bit more substance. Steph did a really great job putting all that together. Huge shout out to everyone who helped out with the LARP. I think we really helped boost Ethan's spirits. And I had a great time too. I had a blast. Me too. But definitely do it again. I wonder if these two are the ones that were the... Uh, they were in the alleyway. And he's always the guy that wants to go out on a date with her. But she always has other plans or wants to go double dating with other people. But it not really being a date. But they were playing as the lovers, and he had been slain by the serpent. Splendid work, Stephanie. Is that what that was? Still banned. The Magpie Emporium? Oh, did Mike say something nasty about it? And so he's still banned from anything involving LARPing? Oh, the radio station. Kind Haven listeners, we are now live at the Spring Festival. Swing by our trailer in the park to grab some raffle tickets and maybe win some merch. Awesome. Sweet. And make sure to stick around and keep your eyes on the main stage. We have something special brewing. Wink, wink. Oh, I feel a concert coming on. Oh, I wonder if... Is she going to be part of the concert? I, If so, it would be very last minute. But we have the flash drive. Let's go down to the festival. Ooh, a nice breezy night. And look at that moon. Oh, and everything's so well lit. I like the colored lights. Test, test. Check. 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 Holy shit! You own a skirt?! Hey, guys. Happy first Spring Fest. Thanks. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Who's playing? 
Nice. Who's playing? Local band. You'll love them. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. <laughs> Text me when it's ready. If I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. Hmm. Yeah, let's take a look. Can't wait to see this mystery band tonight. Well, the drums would definitely belong to Steph. But there might be a singer who would be over here with the box. I don't know. 232? 233? 234? <laughs> he's counting the beans. Oh, he's no. sad. The red one was 234. Wait. <sighs> this game is so demoralizing. <sighs> Why do I do this to one, myself? Two, mm -hmm. three. Maybe I can help him somehow. I've never seen anyone so focused on a jelly bean jar. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So I thought I could get her a bunch of treats. Ah, oh, the dog. Which is really embarrassing, saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? Ah, uh, let's see. I would say, yeah, maybe 300. 800 seems to be too much. 300-ish. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. Yeah, I mean, she seems happy. 300? What a nitwit. Not even close. I was that far off? Maybe I should say something before he guesses wrong. Also, the hell is your problem, lady? I've never seen anyone so focused on a gel. Hey! I've got another guess. Yeah? So, it should be 700? I think it's closer to 700. Yeah. 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. This feels like cheating. Oh, she's afraid. Dear me, they're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes! Your secret's mine. The answer is 731. Don't ask me how. 731 jelly beans. That's... That's correct. Yes! Thanks so much for your help. You rule. No sweat. See, aside from being Enfith, she's just reading minds. I know your secret. Now she's angry. I can't believe it. How did she know? Just a lifetime of emotional trauma. Tub of beer. I don't think this thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. <laughs> I mean, it is just open. Oh, look at this little diorama of the town. Wow. This is a beautiful model. Yeah, there's the dock and over there with the bar. And then they must have just built neighborhoods all around it. Oh, there's the rose cart. Take one for someone special. Limited supply. Maybe I could give a rose to Steph or Ryan. 
Where are they? I'd be, I'm not gonna take a rose quite yet because I don't know if that's going to start the show. So then, where's the after party this year? After party? My bad. So then, where's the after party this year? After <laughs> party? Come on, God. young man like yourself. I just hope you Riley is doing all right. Oh is. no. <laughs> Honestly, I'm getting pretty bushed. Thinking of calling it a night soon. My goodness. What is this town coming to? Used to be that the spring festival wasn't complete till everyone was either asleep in the park or in someone else's bed. <laughs> Must have been pretty I've got some time to kill. Day. Might as well My wander day. around and I'm be social. I'm talking about last year. I'm all eavesdropping. I am being semi-social. The ice leaf. The world's most unnecessary vodka delivery system. Wait, so the vodka runs down the mountain over the ice and then into your glass? That's interesting. Festival spread. My bad. There's no graceful way to sample everything on this table. Is there? So donuts, salad, fruit, little hot doggies, sliders. Oh, Mr. Lantern, I love what you've done with your bar. <laughs> Lemonade, peanuts. There's soda. There's a student. Yeah, is there anything else I can read off of her? God, I just hope Riley is doing all right. Something must have happened with Riley, maybe about Mac. Or maybe it's because she would have normally hung out with Mac and they would have exchanged roses, but now they're broken up. It happened last year. Yep, I remember it clear as day probably around 10 or 11 p.m. And he was already drunk as a skunk, boy. And I'm not advocating for that kind of drinking, mind you. Despite my occupation, Spring Fest is different from the Lantern. We all agree. But anyway, he comes racing out of the diner, bowled over a couple of tables along the way. I see him hauling ass toward the dock, and I get on after him because I know what he's aiming for. And sure as hell, this son of a bitch jumps right off the end of the dock and into the water. Smack, belly flop. And the poor bastard is so drunk, he forgot he doesn't know how to swim. So I jump in there after him. Took a minute, but I dragged his ass back to dry land and we called him an ambulance just to be sure. He was fine though. So then, I gotta spend the rest of the night soaking wet, which doesn't bother me none, but everybody keeps offering me a bunch of goddamn towels. Next morning, he shows up at my door with a box of chocolates. Chocolates! God knows why he thought that was the right token of gratitude. <laughs> but, in all fairness, I ate the whole damn box. Best I ever had. And Jed's always been a hero. And he's happy. I'm sure Jed's around the festival. Maybe I can say hi. It's been a hell of a month. But this makes it all worthwhile. Jed, it's nice to see Jed so in his element. Mm-hmm. Yep. That he is. He gets to tell stories. I love that the radio station broadcasts live from the park. Right? It almost makes you feel like a tiny Coachella. <laughs> Super tiny. So, listen to anything good lately? Funny you should ask. You remember that song, Alabaster Daydreams? Yeah, we helped her out. Uh, early 2000s? Maybe? Anyway, the weirdest thing happened today. I was in the lantern, studying, and I was thinking about the lyrics and wishing it would come on, and then it totally did. Huh, what are the chances? Right? Kind of makes you think, doesn't it? About the vibrations we emit into the ether, you know, psychic waves and whatnot. Could be. 
karmic energy is no joke. If only she knew it was real in the context of this universe. This is awesome. Favorite time of the year, by far. That kind of enthusiasm is infectious, especially for me. What, no marshmallows? Come on. So this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Yep, <laughs> I get it. Mm, I really like the ambiance of this place. Oh, oh, yeah. There's Ryan, so he's working with the controls. She's helping with the music, though we can't hear the music because I had to turn it off. Yeah, it looks like it's repeating again, so might as well get up. Is there something on the phone? I guess Riley is feeling sentimental tonight, but I haven't seen her around. Where is she? I just want to take a second to say how wonderful Haven really is. Nights like this always remind me how lucky I am to call this place home. No other place will ever come close. Oh, maybe she's experiencing some kind of regret for going to college and leaving town. Not so bad yourself, Art. Looks like we're getting down to our last basket of roses. If you haven't given one to your special someone yet, now's your chance. I love this tradition. It always brings out the best in the people you love. She loved it. Thank you, Eleanor. It looks so good. Jelly Bean guess, guessing contest has ended. Congratulations to our winner, Hector. Thank you. Thank you. Hold the applause. Ah, uh, wait. Oh, so Hector, he's the, oh, he was the one that was the, the blacksmith. So he was the one commenting on one of the earlier posts, but he's the one with the dog. Oh, I thought it was going until midnight. Normally, yes, but we had a perfect guess. No way. Someone actually won this time? Yeah, I'm surprised it's what, been four years? I think five. Oh no, more Typhon mining. Happy Spring Festival, Haven Springs community. Thanks for letting us celebrate with you. And the poster has disabled replies. Well, we better get to that basket. I'm sure Jed's around the festival. Maybe I can say hi. It's nice to see Jed so in his element. Well, it looks like we don't have the option to say hi. So maybe I should get something from the rose cart. Oh, they're pretty yellow roses. Oh, are they yellow with a little bit of orange in them? Those are among my favorite. Yep, so we've already done the jelly bean counting. I'm sure Jed's around the festival. Maybe I can say hi. It's nice to see Jed so in his element. It's been a hell of a month, but this makes it all worthwhile. I, yeah, they keep prompting me to speak with Jed, but I don't know. Where would Riley be? Oh, there's some people off to the side. I should go check out with them. The writer okay, boyfriend. So, there's this young farm maid in the elvish countryside. Sets out to find her missing sister, who was abducted years ago by a guild of warlocks. Go on. Ooh. Along the way, she picks up mercenaries. The kind she never expected to be friends with. Elf criminal. Undead priest. Oh. They find the sister... The sister is now the high warlock of the guild. She's threatening the entire kingdom with her magical shit. Guessed it. And they gotta take her out. Right? I, I don't know, but what a dilemma. Shakespeare meets Tolkien. This is what I always should have been writing. Jesse, this is amazing. It sounds like your muse is finally back. Didn't need a muse. Just needed to get out of my own head long enough to remember who I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's always best to to do what 
you want like to create what you want to see in the world and what makes you happy as opposed to trying to cater it to other people like you have to think about audience but if you're just trying to appeal to the masses and do what you think others would prefer then i should tell mac that i heard the call he deserves that much at least Ooh, so mac is around somewhere we'll have to see yeah so he's happy thank you steph thanks for helping me find the fun again sounds like ethan wasn't the only one inspired by the larp today yeah so just rekindled his love for fantasy that makes sense Okay, so those are the students. Let's go see if anyone's by the water. A notice. No alcohol beyond this point. Yeah, they don't want anyone getting too close to the water. Good luck with that sign. Yeah, I suppose the sign isn't the best. Looks like plenty of people are still out around town. A new miner. What does he think? No, mom, it's not an emergency. Trust me, I'm fine. He's afraid of Typhon, probably. It's just Typhon is Typhon's not normal. normal. I made a I mistake know. coming here. Get out while you can, dude. I told you we all had to sign NDAs, right? I was thinking about that a bit more and... Signing non-disclosure agreements? So Do they're you think you could talk... They're working on something secret. Ah, uh, I really wish you could... You knew when precisely things were going to stop. I should tell Mac that I heard the call. He deserves that much, at least. Anything around here? Nope. We do have quite a number of people around town. Grand opening tomorrow! Free I'm glad someone's opening the diner again. Ah, oh, but he's Just afraid. Come introduce yourself! Gotta pull my shit together for this grand opening. These people won't be so gracious forever. We might. Free food goes a long way in Haven. I'll take a coupon. No coupons, my dear. Just tell me your name and I'll remember it. All right. Alex Chen. Alex Chen? Didn't we speak already tonight? Nope. Stupid. So stupid. Print some coupons, they said. It's a small town, I'll remember, I said. Oh, hubris. You know, you could try posting on my block. Whoever comments gets the deal. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Best of luck. You get a notification and it's him asking about it. So what are they calling it? Nice. May the best small town diner win. The Brown Bear Diner. All right, we have this guy over here. I should tell Mac that I heard the call. He deserves that much, at least. Oh, was... boot! Boot on my car? Okay, so I can't park where I normally park because we have to celebrate a bunch of flowers. This... Hey, boot! You think you're making the world a better place? Think you're doing a service for the citizens? Too bad I can't unlock doors with my emotions. This guy is the one that you're has- You're a cog in the machine! Uh, I'm gonna run away from him. He's terrible. I just don't want to hear him anymore. Sheesh. No wonder he was reading those manuals before. Lots of people still hanging out on Main Street tonight. Oh, is it the two that are potentially going on a date? Wait, oh, day drinkers? Road closed. The LARP was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Do you think there's food left at the festival? Are you hungry? I thought you might be. I could be. But are you? Not really. But that's nice of you. Right. Cool. Is he still angry or afraid and she and she afraid? Yeah, he's sad. That's what I meant. Wait, he's sad at this point and she's angry? 
God, I still like her so much. What do I do? Sorry, man. Forbidden love is a bitch. Damn it. I'm head over heels for this dork. What do I do? Wait, they're ah! both into each other? Come on, people. They liked each other the whole time, and yeah, she was fearful, and he was angry with himself, and then now he's sad, and now she's angry with herself. For goodness sake, people. Time for some serious meddling. For the greater good. For the greater good. Hey, um... Cute couple. I just wanted to say, you two make a really cute couple. Uh, oh! <laughs> Thanks, Alex. That's really sweet. That idea doesn't bother you? Us being a couple? Yeah. I kind of like it. Yay! Holy shit. Uh, okay, so does this mean... Do, do you want to, um... Go out sometime? Yes. But just the two of us? Yes. And... Actual date. <laughs> Devoid of pottery or third wheels. Okay. Okay, great. Oh, I'm beaming right now. This is the best. I'm glad Eleanor made it out to the festival tonight. I'll have to say hello. I already did. Also, yes, they finally got together. It just took someone else to, to remind them that they should be fearless. Uh, just admit it. I... Now they're both happy. Holy shit. Is this really happening? I accept cash and checks. <laughs> oh my god. My heart's still pounding. Can confirm. Oh, that's so sweet. Haven't spoken to Charlotte since leaving here earlier. Hope she's okay. Yeah, close for the spring festival. Yay! Oh, I feel so accomplished getting that couple I'm together. I'm glad Eleanor made it out to the festival tonight. I'll have to say hello. Someone special, huh? Time to deliver. Your close this evening in celebration of the annual spring festival. Please visit our cart. On the festival grounds and take a rose for someone special. Sincerely, Eleanor. Aww. Letter oh, are they chatting about the game? I have a surprise for you. Good surprise or bad surprise? I started a farm in Moondrop Ranch. Get out! I'm romancing Melody. The nurse? She's adorable! Oh, this is Stardew. I'll be real with you right now. Game is sick. I love you. <laughs> so they're I'm happy. I'm glad Eleanor made it out to the festival tonight. I'll have to say, wait, is someone standing out past the Bridge of Flowers? Pretty late for a bus ride. Yeah, who would that be? I hope this doesn't end the night. I think giving a rose ends the night. Maybe. Oh, it's Riley waiting for the bus. So she's not even attending the festival? There she is. Looks like she's packed and ready. Oh, and she's scared. Here I am, just waiting at the bus stop, about to change my entire life. I've been there. Mhm. Mm Cuz she was just she just arrived in town and Riley's known this all her life and she's leaving it. Hey Riley. Oh, hi Alex. What are you doing out here? Just out for a walk. You? My bus comes tonight, and I just couldn't bear saying goodbye to everyone. I get that. I'm really going to miss this town. I'll miss my Nana most of all, of course. <laughs> I hope Nana's okay. She's in good health, but sometimes I wonder if I should really be leaving her here alone. Mm. Eleanor is keeping her condition a secret. 
But I feel like Riley would want to know. What should I do? Oh, tell Riley about Eleanor, keep Eleanor's confidence. So, ah, uh, so I think that this is a situation where Riley, it'd be nice if Riley knew, but I think Eleanor's greatest fear is that Riley is going to stop pursuing her dreams of going to college and to she's going to move back into town stay there and be trapped her entire life and she won't go out and experience the world because the thing is Riley is always going to love and be there for her grandma even if she's not going to be physically there to support the the store and whatnot and Eleanor has a whole community of people around her that can help. I think in this situation, oh, but the thing is, Eleanor is constantly in fear but I, of Riley finding out, but I think it's because she wants what's best for Riley. I, I have a feeling that I'd want to keep Eleanor's confidence if only so that Riley has a chance to set out and do great things for herself. Because she'll always come back. And she always loves her grandmother. Eleanor is so proud of you. All she wants is for you to follow your dreams. You're right, of course. Good luck with everything. We're rooting for you. Oh, everything's set. Maybe at the stage? On my way. Live music time, Haven listeners. Start making your way to the stage. Make sure you get a spot. Thanks, Alex. Have a great time at the festival. She's still fearful. Stay safe, Riley. I hope everything works out. 